up YouTube welcome back to Fresh Prince Sports and today we're going to be doing talking about the rise and the career of Jonathan Isaac if you're new here please hit the like subscribe button and comment down below any other player you guys want to see and check out all my other videos so yeah first off if the 2017 NBA draft has taught us anything is that the stars can emerge from anywhere on the draft board you know, guys like Jason Tatum who went number three, John Donovan Mitchell who went number thirteenth, and Bam Adebayo who went number fourteenth have already blasted off into the NBA elite atmosphere. You know, they're already all stars. Um, not to mention, you know, numerous others from this draft class have helped, you know, their respective teams grow. But one name has seen a little mention since his debut in, in the NBA three seasons ago. A name that should be on everyone's breakout list. His name is Jonathan Isaac, a man set back by injury but bed, but destined for an even larger comeback. So, Isaac first attended Barron Collar High School in Naples, Florida during his freshman year and sophomore years. In his junior and senior year, he attended the International School of Bullard in Hollywood, Florida. However, as a result of wanting to be reclassified as part of the high school class of 2016 isaac also attended img academy which everyone knows for what was considered to be a postgraduate year in 2016 as a senior in 2016 he averaged 17 points per 17.6 points per game and 10 rebounds per game um while leading img to a 21 to 10 21 and 10 um overall record um in his high school career, he grew six inches from his freshman year to his sophomore year, going from a combo guard to, you know, a combo forward he is today. Um, so, yeah. Um, on July... F oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, yeah. On July 5th, Isaac confirmed that he was going to commit to Florida State after high school. Um after a senior year of high school uh on february 5th 2016 he announced his intention to possibility to his intentions to of testing the possibility of entering the 2016 nba draft as the first american um postgraduate to jump directly from high school to nba draft since 2005 he has also considered a prospect um that could have been taken in the middle of the uh, or late first riot had he you know committed to it uh four days after making that announcement however isaac confirmed that he wasn't going to enter the 2016 draft and actually you know go and play for the florida state for the 2016 2017 season before the 2016 17 season um began isaac was considered a preseason watch for the carl malone award uh in college basketball on november 15th in the second game of the season he's record 20 points 20 points in a 99 to 78 win over iona isaac would record his first double 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 of the season with 14 points and 10 reasons 10 rebounds and a win over detroit on november 20th um he earned the acc freshman of the week award for his performance from november 15th um to November 21st in 2016, um, and yeah, he just played really well. As the second seed in the ACC and uh, the sixth best team in the nation, Florida State beat Virginia Tech in the quarterfinals, but lost to Notre Dame in the semifinals of the ACC tournament. Um, his team then proceeded to NCC NCAA tournament, where they were seeded third in the West. They won their first game 86 to 80 against FGCU um, in Orlando, Florida. However, they lost in the round of 32 in a blowout upset against 11th seeded Xavier, Xavier 66 to 91. Isaac scored just 25 points in two games in his NCAA tournament career. Um, at the conclusion of the his freshman season, he was named to the All ACC Freshman of 2017. In addition to that, Isaac announced that his intention is to forgo his final three years of college eligibility and enter the 2017 NBA Draft, where he was projected as a lottery first-round pick. He was the second player in Florida State history to go 
you know, be a one and done prospect behind um, Malik Beasley in 2016, a year before Isaac went to the draft. Isaac was generally ranked as a top five prospect in his class. Many believe his physical attributes were freakish and that he may need some fine tuning to get him to the next level. Um, Jonathan Isaac was drafted sixth overall by the Orlando Magic in the 2017 draft. On December 28th, he was ruled out with a right ankle sprain. On February 23rd, 2018, he was assigned to the um, Lakeland Magic of the G League for re- uh rehab purposes. Um, so that's how his first year went. Not too great. Uh, but in the second year of college in the league, Isaac became a starter for the Magic in 66 games, posting a career-high average in points, rebounds, assists, and blocks per game. He has now played with the Magic for two full seasons, while his third season ends in a knee injury, which was this season. Um, he was um, he has, without a doubt, seen enough time in the NBA to make some reasonable judgments. Um, So let's dig deeper into why I think Jonathan Isaac could beat the Diamond. He could be a really, basically, a really good player. Um, And many people are looking over him, uh, overlooking him. There are very few players in the NBA that have the size and speed that Isaac possesses. Isaac Mendermans is 6'11", 210, with a 7'1", wingspan. Not only does he have the size, but he has the quickness to guard nearly every position on the court, aside from... You know, Kevin Durant and Ben Simmons. Uh, I can't name many players with that type of side that can guard one through four. It's some pretty good company to fall into. There are numerous players that come to mind when takes the core about, but Brandon Ingram is certainly the most comparable for me. The wingspan mixed with the speed of a guard is something that obviously isn't teachable, but is valued with you know value in the game today. Uh, many were hesitant to see Ingram potential as a player, especially after his rookie year where he averaged just 9 points off of 40% from the field. But he has blossomed in the past six months and has become a cornerstone uh, piece to New Orleans' future. I think Jonathan Isaac can have the same story too. Uh, certainly size with with no skill means nothing, but Isaac doesn't lack either. If you were to con struck the perfect NBA player. I think many would mimic Isaac's build. He's got the size, he got the length, and most importantly, he has the speed to match up with any player you choose to throw at him. He's already gotten the head started with his measurements. Uh, this past season, he made a huge jump on the defensive end, averaging 2.9 um, blocks per game. Not blocks per DPM, DBMP. Now, many will claim his shortened season is the reason why he has such a high number. Um, however, the cutoff for DM- DPM- DBMP looks to be around 40 games at the season cutoff. So, theoretically, Isaac missed the cut by just 8 to 10 games, which wouldn't. Ahead of Draymond Green and Paul George and Jamel and bead in DBMP. Um, he's already started to mold into one of the best, better defenders in this league. Just a couple years, only a couple years into his career. Not to mention, Isaac averaged 2.4 blocks per game and an outstanding number for an NBA player. Isaac certainly has some room to grow on the defense end, but nearly every single defensive metric, um, meaningful stat, have seen a lot of growth since his. Um, rookie year you know he's starting to polish his defensive game and becoming a really scary sight on that side of the ball um he's very raw his defense is very raw but the product was there his offense on the other side was a bit streaky in his three years in the nba isaac has averaged nine points on 43 percent from the field not ideal however let's look at the past season and a bigger, a little deeper into his offensive game has improved. So this year he shot uh, 46% from the field, which looking at the league average, his shooting doesn't look too bad. The league average sits at 46%, so which has been consistent for the past few years. 
Um, not to mention he dropped, he jumped from 43% to 46% last season. Um, now this season was cut short because of his injury. Um, we haven't seen, be able to see a lot of his offensive capabilities in the playoffs. Um, overall, Isaac hasn't rolled, showed anybody really, anybody, any team really of his, um, uh, offense skill. So overall, Isaac hasn't, you know, Try anybody his potential with his offense, but he's steadily improved though the past few years. And I think next year, with a fully healthy season, he will wonder. He will show everybody um, that he's been extremely underrated. Um, has he woed the league with his offensive, you know, abilities? No, but he has so many traits in his game that can scream star player. Uh, his, freakish, his freakish build, elite defense, and the consistency improved um, offensive game should give nearly every NBA fan and player um, to pause their criticism. Um, Isaac will become an elite talent in the NBA, and we are already starting to see flashes of his greatness. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe button, make sure to comment down below, and stay tuned for the next one. Peace.